This playthrough is rated T for teen. What have you gotten yourself into, Maria? Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Front Mission. In the last episode, we took City Hall and uh, made it a place for the UCS to control. Hopefully, they'll keep it for quite a while. Well, depending on you, when you played, or depending on if you played the OCU campaign, you kind of know the fate of that. But for now, it's in our control and nothing's going to worry about it. So now we just have to kind of take care of the outlying area and just help the UCS with whatever jobs they got. But before we do that, time to head to the bar and get drunk. No, uh, just to check it out. You have bliss. Yeah, let's see what everyone has to say. I hear the OCU's tried to take the city back. Eh, it'll be a while till that happens. Garuda, well, who cares about the war? I'm too busy checking out the latest arena scores. Eh, that sounds about right in real life. I don't want to care about the war. I want to watch football. The OCU and UCS should just go back to the way things were. The Mail River is a nice place to put for as any to put a border. Well, sometimes you know sunken costs and all that. We can't just stop now. Yeah, you know. <laughs> we got to slow down first. The arena is gathering quite the crowd nowadays. I wonder if the war has gotten anything to do with it. Yeah, people got to find escapism somewhere. But you can't go to the arena, unfortunately, because of my builds. Um, there's not much I can... Uh, the odds aren't going to be very good for me. See, <laughs> I'm too high a level and everything like that. So but, um, so for me, well, technically, there is a way for me to sort of manipulate that. I could just give myself really crappy gear and fight in the arena and uh, improve my odds. Because gear does affect it to an extent. Although, if you get any of the skills that you can unlock in the game, that severely reduces the odds because, you know, you already have an advantage over most of the opponents in the game. So, but anyway, uh, one of the big things now that we've done all that is now the gear is improved in the shop. So, um, I don't think there's any new items. I think it's the same as before. Um, I think repair items have been been introduced before, but those basically give you 100 HP, which we don't have too many parts that really heal that anyway. So, repair S's are still good, at least for a little while. Um, man, well, let's get set up. There's not a whole lot of new stuff, but um, I'll go over it anyway. So, weapons wise. Um, We've got a new rifle, which is a pretty good, well, it's pretty good overall. It's hit is not as good as like uh, the shotgun, which we got a new shotgun, it is the Winnie rifle. It has two shots. I think it's the only rifle in the game that shoots twice, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, and we also got the uh, Dark Hog machine gun, but the thing with the Dark Hog is it's the exact same stats as Leah Social, and it's a little bit cheaper and a little bit lighter on weight. So why would you buy the Dark Hog? Yeah, I don't get that either. Uh, I'm probably just gonna leave the Mostros and Leo Socials on my guys for that one. Uh, for Johnny, I'll probably give him the Winnie rifle and leave his shotgun the same, or his machine gun the same. Uh, Shoulder-wise, there's only a new item, the Egret, which is what the Hell's Wall we're using, so we're going to buy those. The only problem is it's only got two shots as opposed to the three with the Sun Owl. Um, technically, the Egret, if both hit, have a better damage output than the Sun Owl, but you know that's if all of them hit, so that's up to you on how you want to side. But the Egret does have a little bit better range. Uh, Parts-wise, there's really only one set of parts to buy for this, and that's the Zeraid. It's the best overall gear. Yeah, you lose a little bit of power output. That's not that big of a deal. And it's got a little bit better defense and HP. I mean, the Zelt does that, uh, has the defense loss and has the HP gain, which, yeah, I guess could overlap it, but I'd rather have the defense. Um, so, I mean, you could make an argument for that, but I prefer the Zerad or the Zeraid or whatever. Um, then we got the Avenir, but like I said, um, loss in HP or loss in uh, defense, that type of thing. So I would just go with this raid. Same with arms. Um, you can go with Zelt if you want a lot more HP. This one isn't as clear cut just because you only lose a little bit defense with the uh, HP buff. But if you're making like a melee build, for example, this raid is better because it has a better um, attack stat on it. But uh, same with the legs. Um, although you can make an argument for, uh, once again, for the Zelt because you, you you do lose out on some age movement, but if you don't care about that, you get a bit more defense. But the Zeray, look at that. Eight defense and 18 move. Why not? You can move all over the map. You can also go with the R's if you want to get some tread movement. You know, most roads <coughs> uh, let you move a little bit farther if you have treads. But uh, CPU-wise, I would just give everyone the Argento. Um, it keeps your short stat while improving our long stat and everything like that and our dart stat. The only reason I go with maybe the Rudo is if you have a melee build. Uh, but Argento is all around for everyone. Backpack, we get the racehorse. What that does is gives us a little bit extra power output and an extra item. So we can now carry up to uh, five items in our inventory, which is nice. And that's pretty much it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that with my guys. And I'll be right back. Uh, technically, if you don't want to build it, you guys, you could probably avoid it for this fight because this next fight is pretty easy. But anyway, I'll take care of that. I'll be right back. 
All right, we took care of all that, so let's go to the command room and get our next set of missions. Sorry I'm late, sir. That's all right, Lieutenant. Our troops' morale is high with the fall of freedom, but this is only the beginning. Things will get a lot tougher from now on. I expect the OCU to be preparing a counterattack to reclaim their capital as we speak. We need to keep our eyes out for any signs of the advance. This is where you come in, Lieutenant. Your squad will patrol the Gokusta Desert on our southeastern flank. You will follow a set course and report at each waypoint. I can do that. Such a naive young man. That's Kevin. I hope you haven't grown too fond of him. Dot dot dot. He is not yet ready. It will be some time before you start to miss him. What are you trying to say, Driscoll? Nothing, my dear. Nothing. I wish to ascertain that you will be fully focused on your mission, Maria. Have I ever let such trivial things hinder my mission performance? No, you have not. You are the best soldier I have under my command. You have my trust, Maria. Trust? That word sounds so hollow when you say it. Tomorrow, Maria. Tomorrow you will bring materials from the OCU as planned. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, OCU? Aren't we UCS? Wouldn't that be like traitors or something? Well, we're not going to talk to them about that at all. So, because we hear, we see them together, but it's, there's no connotation, but basically we just see them together, but we don't actually talk to them. So, anyway, we don't actually hear what they're saying. That's for the player. There's something going on between those two. I can smell it. What are you talking about? You know the lieutenant and that female officer. Female officer? Oh, you mean Captain Paredes. You, kn you know her, Matt. Know her? We used to. What were you going to say? What were you going to say? Do we ever know? No. Is everyone here? Yes, sir. We draw we drawn patrol duty on the Costa Desert. The chance of hostile encounters is high. We live 600 hours, so make sure you're well rested. That'll be all. Dismissed. Let's talk to everyone. I, can st I still can't believe we took freedom of so few units, sir. That is impressive. My respect for Hell's Wall has doubled after fighting alongside them. Too bad they didn't do anything in the last fight. Oh, they did. I'm just kidding. But I did gank all the kills. Did you see me, sir? I almost got as many kills as Hell Wall. Actually, I think you got more because, you know, I didn't have... I tried to not have them kill anyone. They killed two people, so... Do we have permission to get some R&R &R while we're in town, sir? As long as you don't get uh, drunk because we have to leave out in the morning. I understand why Hell's Wall breaks their rights so much. They always move to shield us from enemy fire. They've earned my respect. Yeah, we purposely moved them for enemy fire, even though when they still attacked me anyway. Or even though the enemy still hit me anyway. I have even more respect for their fuss, sir. Those things are books of art. Sometimes I forget she's the uh, mechanic of the group. We took them by surprise this time, but they'll be back and they'll be ready. And in greater numbers. If I were the OCU, I would try to retake freedom before the city's defense systems went back online. But anyway, that'll be a while still. Uh, but anyway, before we continue we rest, you can do this at any time, but I'm going to do it now. But after talking to Stuart, let's go ahead and talk to him again. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Any updates on our troops in the city, sir? The 64th is almost done mopping up any OCU stragglers. We'll have the city by tomorrow morning. You won't have to worry about your dear, your rear during your patrol. And in the rear of the gear. To be honest, Lieutenant, I'm surprised that the operation was success considering our numbers. I just talked to one of the Black Hounds. Yes, they'll be joining us in the next operation. They answer directly to Brigadier General Winger, so I don't know if they have any other orders. I know you'd want to catch up with old friends, but you do leave early tomorrow. Try not to stay up too late, son. Yes, sir. But anyway, if we do that... Hey, Kevin. Captain Demetrius. Uh, how goes the fighting? Good, good. Most of them are a bunch of softies, though. It's not much fun beating them up. It just ain't satisfying. One of those softies gave the boss a new scar, though. You should have seen the size of the hole he put in the boss's cockpit hatch. You should have seen the hole I put in his. Anyway, I was looking for you, Kevin. The squad finally got the new frost we ordered, and we need to test them out. Let's go. Uh, Captain, I have a mish. You're patrolling a desert, for hell's sakes. For, I'm pretty sure, damn sure Stuart can find someone to cover for you. We could always use the practice, sir. Sparring with hell's wall would be a great test of our skill as well. You didn't... Haley, what's up? I just walked by the hangars and saw a bunch of frost being carried inside. The kicker is someone bolted 400 millimeter armor plates on them. That's tank armor, sir. Who's crazy enough to put stuff like that on a Vanza? I feel sorry for the troops that had to fight against those things. Let me tell you. Sorry for you, sorry for yourself, Corporal. We're going to fight them. W -w what? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we unlocked the training mission with uh, Hell's Wall. Uh, yeah, it's interesting when you play this campaign, or play the OCU campaign and this and this campaign, and then you feel a lot uh, worse for Hell's Wall, 
it, because of what happens in the OCU campaign. I don't want to spoil it for those who don't know, but, uh, you know, it's war. Expect what you expect. But anyway, if we want to unlock one more mission, let's go back to the command room to talk to Stuart again. Any other questions? Uh, no, sir. But anyway, if we do this, this activates this question. Lieutenant Greenfield, we have an urgent mission for you. We've received word that a group of insurgents is staging an attack on the civilian corporate corporation's facilities. We'd like you to protect them. But we haven't. This is a direct order from Command Lieutenant. Here are the papers. Civilian lives must be protected at all costs. Let me see those papers. Uh, we can't say no to command, can we? Fine, we'll go. Why do I have the feeling we're being led around by the nose? I feel the same, but a mission's a mission. That's the problem with being in the army, my friend. Anyway, we'll have two side missions for that, but I'm not going to do them now. They do last from mission 9 to mission 13, so we do have a few missions before we have to do them. If you want to get some extra experience to be a bit over level for the next set of battles, you might do it, but I'm going to wait uh, to do them later. So anyway, let's rest and set up the next uh, mi story mission. Mechanic. Yes, sir. Where's Maria? Uh, Maria's, I mean, the Blackhound Captain's Bonzer. She took, she took it out this morning, sir. Something about an urgent mission. And she didn't tell me? I mean, are you guys still together, or... Anything else, sir? Oh, no, that'll be all. Now you said that Maria's not telling them everything. Well, some couples don't tell themselves everything, but anyway, let's uh, head on out. But yeah, you can either go, yeah, north or southeast for the jobs. We're gonna hold off on this, so let's go to the desert. Have you combed the desert, sir? Haven't found a thing, sir. We ain't found crap. Uh, Freedom Base, Links 1, passing waypoint 3, no contacts. Move to the next waypoint. Sir, my Fonzer's making scary sounds because of all the sand in its joints. How much longer are we going to be out here? <laughs> I got sand in my boots. You know, viewers, I don't like sand. It's rough, coarse, gets everywhere. Maintenance is going to be a nightmare. Sir, I have contacts heading due south. Hostiles? The sandstorm is messing with my senses. Can't confirm, sir. Let's go out. Let's go check it out, then. Sir, we be deviating from our patrol course. Isn't the point of patrol duty to check out things that are out of the ordinary? Let's go. Uh, he makes a good point. The materials are in the truck. I have a message for the colonel. Message reads, now it's your turn. Wait, Maria, why are you talking to OC units? I re I relay the message. You can go now. I'll take care of the package. Make it fast. One of our scouts units is nearby. If I'm seen with you, I'll be lucky to get away with a court martial. Wait, they don't want their own scouts to see him? What's going on here? That Bonzer, is that Maria? Be careful, sir. I have hostile contacts nearby. Maria, are you all right? Kevin. Damn it. Forget the truck and get out of here. Uh-oh. Well, whatever's going on, we have to fight them. So let's set our guys and prepare. All right. The truck they're talking about is right here, but you can't do it. It's, not, it's a supply truck, uh, like, you know, your model but there's nothing we can do with it so um this mission does have a salvage spot which is right here i believe um the, weirdly enough the ucs campaign has very few salvage sections and you almost get no salvage from anything so you have to make money from arena or doing really well in missions and stuff like that but anyway guy sells a, a unit here and maria she's still in the fate she's getting quite a few levels since then she's level 27 with uh, really decent stats move 21 Ooh, she's got a really good job here she's got the orcus punch so no movement I wonder if she'll be able to help us against these tanks, although they were talking to them friendly. But anyway, the tank options are uh, light tanks. There's three of them there. Oh, this mission's going to be easy. Light tanks have 80, only body unit, move of 14. Level 7, they got a decent short set at 12. And they got the Pat 55 machine gun and Galvados missiles. So, man, we're just going to wreck these guys. All right, let's just go on in. With Maria's help, we're just going to take these guys out. No problem. So just move. Actually, probably just move everyone down one way. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, no problem, man. And Haley will be able to get some experience. So she's a bit behind on levels. Miss, uh, mission failed. The seven links is an OCU squad have engaged in battle at the rendezvous point. I repeat, mission failed. Understood. We'll burn the package. Get out of there. What the? She's not going to help us? Yeah, uh, Maria leaves within turn three, I believe. Um, and there's no way to get to her. Now, I've heard that there's technically some dialogue you can get from her if you move up to her and attack her, because uh, technically she's an enemy unit here. Um, but I'd never actually done that, and I 
I tried to find some cheat codes to like try to get infinite movement to see if I could test this out, but I never saw anything. So, and I'm not like a major hacker, so I don't know how to actually do that. So if anyone knows like how to do that, or if anyone knows how to actually get the scene to occur, like the dialogue to occur, I'd like to know. Because people have said it's possible, but I've never actually seen proof. So I don't want to say it's true. I'm just saying I've heard it. So, but anyway, now let's take out these tanks here. So uh, let's see. I mean, we could just afford to blast them with them. Wait, can you? Probably just uh, missile them, really. Because we could just, if we hit with all our missiles, we'll destroy them in one go. Uh, actually, let's give it to uh, you. Hopefully, you'll hit both hits. I need, I want you guys to have the experience, so. Nice. And yeah, as soon as you destroy uh, a unit or three turns officially pass, reinforcements arrive. Hey, you okay? Uh, uh what? Oh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, they appear. If, if we didn't kill anyone this round, they would have appeared automatically next round. But we got two units up here. We got the Genims. They're level seven. We got okay stats, but their arms are really weak, so we can take out their arms pretty easily. If we want. This is a really good level for level to get extra levels, because we could just basically, with a lot of our dual and guide abilities, we'd be able to blast out their their arm pieces and uh, farm experience for them. But anyway, we've got 17 move, um, and they've got the cemetery and of social machine guns, and they won't do much damage to us. Uh, we also got the Zakatas. They are the missilers of this mission. They're a little bit more beefier because they need to survive a bit more, um, but we can also blow out their arms for some decent experience. They got move of 20, level six. Um, there's long stats, their best stat at 11. They got the Zakate punch, which actually does a decent amount of damage if it hits. Nothing quite like the bone arts, but pretty close. And they got the bone and egret um, missiles as well. And there's two sets of them, so. Uh, okay, so. Uh, don't want to go and just take out. Can I hit you? I think I can. Yeah. I'll try to give most of the experience for this to uh, Haley and uh, Howard if I can, but. Alright, what I. I mean, I don't know if I want to. Well, I guess I can use her missiles on her. I just wanted to. Because Haley can't get it because of the way the repair backpack is. I've been giving it to her. Um, maybe I, I keep saying I want to give it to Matthew instead. I should, just because she's more useful as a long-range unit than, a, than what she is. Although I think her original design was people who made her a short unit or a melee unit. But uh, I think I might wait for you guys to get closer before I uh, charge on in. Just wait. Really, the the I guess technically the most dangerous unit would be the uh, um, missilers overall, because like I said, the the, the attackers they, they don't do a lot of damage from their uh, uh, machine guns. Man, she already took that much damage. Yep, there goes Maria. Yeah, there's like no way. People said you could get to her, but I'm like, there's no way she can get there in time. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can. Yeah, let's see if we can blast out that guy's arms. But like I said, with uh, with with uh, guiding, there's a chance I might miss my attack. So, oh nice, got lucky there. Let's see if we can do that with uh, her. Actually, what I might do, I might go and hit him with a like a um, a flash, just to uh, see if we can uh, guarantee our our chances of hitting. Because I don't want to waste uh, Haley's uh, missiles if I can. But that also means she might not hit him in the arm, though. Ooh, nice. I might try to give Kevin not give Kevin too much experience here because he's already a bit, a bit high. But we'll see what happens. Because this would be a good battle to give Haley and Howard experience to make up for them. Because long range units, because they really good at blowing up one part, but they're not really good at blowing up multiple parts. So that's why short range fighters tend to, and melee fighters tend to get a bit more experience than uh, than the other group. So, and I kind of want Johnny to be up ahead just because. Let's see, do you? Yeah, I could use the missiles. Johnny has the dual ability, so I can try to focus on blowing out their arms if, if it's possible. Oh, nice. I'll take it. Yeah, well, let's try the win Eve. Oh, yeah, I have to get Haley in there to heal him because he took the last one on his body. But... Well, like I said, when you use dual and guide, you severely reduce your uh, 
your accuracy. So that's why, you know, you either want to flash them or, or, oh, nice. Just missed completely. All right, let's see if we can, uh, machine in there. Okay. And you can as well, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So let's get Kevin over there to flashy thing that guy so we can, uh, you can do this without flashy thing. And by the way, I probably don't need to do this. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I want to, like I said, I don't want to waste Haley's missiles because I can't use a repair backpack on her, so. All right, let's see if we can blast out your arms. Yep. Nice try, I guess. All right, let's try that again. But luckily, even if I blow her, his right arm with it because he's flashed, I'll still hit with another missile. Okay. Huh. All right. Fine. I didn't even want to like hit him in the uh, ar arms anyway. I don't, know. I don't know what you're talking about. Try blowing out your other other arm. Oh my god! <laughs> Man, I'm just not not my my dual skill is not high enough. I think I'm still at level one. It takes a while for it to level up. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can mostro his arm to death, maybe. Or not. We'll just completely destroy. Ah, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, is he still stunned? Or did he break out of it? He's out of it, but... Alright, let's try. Let's try blast him again. Let's go with the right, right arm this time. There we go. Nice. Alright. Now blow out your other arm. Or hopefully we can get it. All right, now you're not, not a threat anymore. Let's see. I'll probably try to give the experience for the, the missilers give the most experience, so I'll probably have Haley and Howard finish them off while I try to weaken you guys. All right, come on, you can guide this. You can do it. You can do it, Johnny. I believe in you. There we go. I might just hold off on using the rest of my guys on this just because. Just to give him the experience. There you go, just chafe on him. Well, I, yeah, that's the only thing you can use on him. I wonder how long that'll last. I've, I weirdly have, uh, when I was playtesting some battles, I had some guy use a chafe on a guy, and it lasted for like, I swear it was like 10 turns or something crazy like that. It was it was insane like how long it lasted. I was like, chafe is only supposed to last like two or three rounds, like at most. What's happening? John's got a nice little, he's at 17, I think that's the same as Kevin, so. Alright, let's see, uh, you've been chafed, so I have to leave you alone now, so. Uh, oops, I don't want to walk up next to him, because he'll start attacking, attacking them. Well, I mean, he might still attack him anyway. Take his legs out if we can. Nice. I have Haley just uh, try to blast him with the rim if I can, just because two missiles aren't going to finish that off. So. Oh, yeah, don't need to do that. Two missiles might be, but her stats are a little bit lower because of the um, uh, her levels being a little bit lower, and she hasn't been able to use her long range as much. Because I think Howard's is a lot better if I, yeah, by quite a bit, so she won't be able to do as much damage. All right, let's uh, let's see. Those are done. So, yeah, let's just keep trying to take out their arms if we can. He seems to do better. I'm gonna have to heal him actually next turn. I 
Actually, might as well have someone get attached just so I can improve their dodge stat. Dodge stat is really hard to, like, even though it still levels up, uh, and the only way you can get your dodge stat up is, other than using, obviously, the CPU, um, you have to dodge all your attacks, and it levels up really slowly. Um, well, at least he's getting an okay experience for doing that, at least. Are you going to hit me with smoke or something? Probably. Oh, you flashed me. See, I don't know what items the enemies have. That's like one of those few things I'm like, I don't know. I'd have to hack the game to figure it out. So, oh yeah. I need to grab that salvage item, by the way. That's why I was running towards it, so. There, let's try. Oh yeah, I need to move you over to uh, uh, Haley at some point so I can get your more missiles from you, so. Let's try taking out your legs again. You know what? Healing doesn't cost that much. I'll just heal myself. Oh, you do yourself, Chief? Oh, wow. I'm surprised you hit with your missiles. I completely forgot about that. Huh. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I completely forgot it was still, it was still active. I, I'm actually surprised the missile hit, to tell you the truth. Well, because like I said, with Chafe, it reduces it like, it's a crazy amount of how much it reduces your uh, HP by, or HP accuracy, I don't know why I said HP. Yeah, this wouldn't be a bad spot to try and improve your dodge stat at least a little bit. Just because to improve it, you need to be attacked, basically. There we go. Oh, wait. Take your forever to like, blast the arm off. Yeah, I'm trying to grab the salvage spot. I almost forgot to do that. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, this fight might take a little bit longer because it's basically me just grinding my uh, my uh, levels, basically. Let's see if we've got Chief on. Chief's still on? Okay. That's uh, kind of wild, actually. Huh. Let's see. Let me still got yours. I was going to put you in it. Actually, I'll just do that one. Uh, I don't want to waste my missiles on you. Let's try to get some experience from you. I might have to, after I grab the item, what I might do is I might cut the video till I actually um, get all these guys, because that would be kind of annoying to like watch me uh, just grind out experience and stuff like that. So. It made me see like, when the chafe runs out on that guy. Because like I said, it's not if you it's not supposed to like last a long time. It's supposed to wear out after a while. I know there's a percentage chance of it still activating, but um, I believe it's this spot here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, we get the Gloucester. So, I don't know. but anyway, it's a mobile unit. So you still have Chafe. You still have Chafe. Wow. All right. I mean, I could try to keep hitting with missiles just to see if they go through. But it's such a low percentage, it's almost not worth it. You know? Yeah, I thought you were gonna miss. Bazookas have a really, really bad ch chance to hit with uh, with them. So, oh, you know what I could do? I could probably just um, flashy thing you. That that highly that like even with Chafe, it'll, it'll uh, improve my chances quite a bit to uh, hit him. Actually, I might do that with the other one, just to just to save me some time, basically. Because it'll still possibly miss, but like I said, with the uh... there we go, nice, nice chunky level there. Let's see, I blow up both your arms, right? Yep. you so just to get I like, try and improve your dodge stat because dodge stat helps with like basically dodging ability uh, dodging attacks and stuff like that so him but all right let's see do I want to 
I mean, it does waste money to do this, but I almost want to just go ahead and flash you again, <clears throat> just to give Haley a chance to hit with the with that bazooka. I don't know if it's guaranteed. If, if stunning guarantees it, I think it just ridiculously raises your chances to actually hit. So. There we go, nice. Let's see. Yeah, that's gonna still... <clears throat> yeah, let's just uh, keep working on them. Yeah, this is probably not as exciting because basically we have this in the bag and I'm just experience farming at this point. But, you know, gotta get that somewhere, so. If we both left a left arm or other arm, I'll probably just, uh, I said, I'll probably cut to when I when I finish them off, just because it'll be, um, are you going to use them on Chafe as well? Of course it's going to be Chafe. Why do, I, why do I keep saying this as if it's a question? You know? I mean, there is a way to get around that. You basically would just uh, run up next to him and attack him, so... And then we can just run up to him with our uh, bazookas and hit him if we want to. Let's see. Yeah, since you've got the missiles, I'll just waste my time on hitting you in the legs. Yeah. You have to be careful about using missiles with Rachel's because I don't. No one else has a repair backpack, so she's basically out of missiles as soon as she's out of missiles. You know what I mean? Awesome. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right. They're surrounding them. They can't do anything. They are worthless. They are worthless little bugs to be crushed under my toe. Ooh, what? Oh, does he still have the chafe? Oh, was there another guy with chafe? Maybe. Oh. Right. Okay, fine. Oh, I don't know why I chose William Social instead. I meant to choose the rifle. Yeah, it doesn't matter. William Social's probably better anyway in this case. Do you have any more missiles left? No, you're out. Oops. Eh. Uh, Actually, let's just go ahead and finish these guys off. It'd take forever, and it wouldn't be that much more experience, so I don't want to... I want to subject you guys to that, so... Awesome. So you, actually, are you higher level now than Kevin? No, you're about the same, so... Yeah, let's see what our... Let's see what bazooka or try it with bazooka, see if we can do a decent amount of damage. If not, I'll just like I said, depending on how much eh, Yeah, it's gonna take a hot minute, so let's just finish them off. Just do it. There you go. Oh nice. Zero contacts on sensors. All hostiles eliminated, sir. Where's Maria? It looks like she left the area during the battle. Great, thanks. Sir, take a look at this. Was this in the truck? Yes, sir. It's one of the OCU's containers. There's something strange about it, sir. It... Links 1. Freedom Base. Commanders issue an order to launch cruise missiles to your area. All units are to clear the zone of impact. Freedom base, Lynx 1. All hostiles have been eliminated. Call off the launch. Lynx 1, the launch sequence has already been initiated. Missiles launch is in progress. You can't stop it? Whose order was this? The order was issued by Brigadier General Winger. Lynx 1, you have no time. Clear the zone. 
There are people in this town, damn it. Sanders, start evacuating the civilians. It's too late, sir. I'm sorry, but we need to get out of here. Damn it, we can't just leave. Sir, if we don't, we'll be caught in the blast as well. Damn it to hell. Everybody move. No! Yay, town got destroyed. Woo! Now, for those of you who played the OCU campaign, you know this level is strangely familiar. But yeah, all this just to destroy that, perhaps to cover up evidence. Anyway, we got 2,000 reward for defeating the mission and... And 4,115 Huffman dollars for destruction and no one died. But man, what was up with that? Why were the missiles there? Why was Maria there? Are we going to get answers to any of these questions? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.